uh, there are processes and methods in managing performance, whether performance is good or poor. Uh, operating for, uh, poor performance issues, they're well documented, okay, and usually focus around, as, as, as Dan was saying, around the kind of uh, can't do or won't do situation. So the can't do focus on sort of capability grounds, and the won't do will focus uh, uh, particularly on the, the conduct of disciplinary route. Okay? In any case, performance, starts, performance management starts with you. Okay? Uh, if you're able to uh, apply certain methods and processes, you'll find that you'll get a greater return from your employees. And it uh, starts with the recruitment process. Okay? Uh, it starts with getting the best employees to start with. Okay? And you've got to consider, first of all, how attractive are you? <laughs> all right? um, now, you need to be attractive to the right candidate. Okay? <coughs> if there's certain things you are not doing or not showing, uh, you may switch off those uh, best candidates. So we're looking particularly at um, your brand. Consider who you are, what you do, uh, what your values are, your identity, uh, positioning in your sector and in, in the local community as well. If you don't, you could miss out on those best candidates. Um, when you communicate with people, your brand is under scrutiny. Uh, and this is also vitally important during that recruitment process. Okay? Uh, candidates can be switched off on what they see, what they hear and how they're generally communicated with. And uh, consider, if this is done poorly, you, you may lose out on them. Okay? Uh, advertising your brand, advertising uh, what you stand for, your values. You may remember as you came in, you saw, uh, you saw this on the screen. Okay? Uh, this is uh, outsets values. Okay? Okay, so once you've got your brand and everybody's uh, uh, looking at your brand and very attracted to you, you need to consider selecting the right person for the job. Now, uh, you need to identify what the best candidate looks like, so you know what you're really looking for. Consider uh, what the role you're employing for. I know it sounds very obvious. Okay, you need a person to do X. Let's have a look at what that really looks like, uh, what needs to be done and how it will be done. Uh, what is required to make that happen? Uh, look at experience, qualifications, skills. All this becomes your yardstick to measure against, okay? uh, particularly looking at uh, person specifications. Mm -hmm.